All right. We're here with Khalid El Paso's own. He just finished performing at Neon Desert 2017. So these are his peeps. Say hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> He's coming down, but uh, just tell us how's it feel to perform back in El Paso. Um, it was overwhelming at first, so it was really nice. Um, I felt like everyone loved me and you know, welcomed me back to the city because I've been gone for some time. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I had a good time. Everyone knew words, which is crazy. Um, and I just let loose and just jumped around with everybody. So it was a lot of fun. How was it the first time you heard your song on the radio? Insane. Where were you? I was in LA. Uh, so it, was, it was very crazy. Um, like I feel like everyone has their first like moments where they hear themselves on the radio. Every every musician does. And when I heard mine, I was I was just overwhelmed because I felt like that was that kind of solidified me being an artist. I was like, oh, now I'm all over the radio, you know, and um, it went number one urban. It's crazy to think about everyone all over America is listening and tuning into this song location. Um, so it's, it's awesome. I just I still can't believe it sometimes. It's such a dream, right? Your song location. Let me ask. It, it, does it have to do anything with El Paso? Um. Actually, I was super inspired by my senior prom, which was in El Paso. So I feel like when I started it, I started it in Atlanta, actually. But I finished it in El Paso. I don't feel like I could have finished that song anywhere else. It was just a lot of positivity, a lot of good vibes. My family was there, my friends were there. And it's just, it's such a vibey song. That's what like El Paso brings me. I feel like it just brings me so many positive vibes. Very good headspace. Now that you're back, did you get to spend some time with your family and did you go eat some of your favorite food? Uh, just had canes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm happy. Um, I saw my mom, she came out. Uh, my dad came out. My little sister came out. So uh, it was really, it was, it was amazing. Um, can't wait to go to track one. Oh my god, really? Track one? Yeah, I love track one. Are you listening track one? That's awesome. Double dip? Tell me a little bit briefly of your, your startup. It's been a whirlwind. I mean, you were literally graduating high school and now here you go. You've been on Jimmy Fallon. How was that? And, and, and what do you see in your future? Um, well, my future, I just see growth. Going nowhere but up, hopefully. <laughs> But always, I will always remain to just stay grounded, especially within the city, and always pass, pass my message of, of the city. You know, I love that with this album, I got the creative control to talk about the passing. Um, whether it was mentioning Dyer Street, you know, or even just saying that the area code, or even saying 915, it was super awesome. And I'll always just incorporate the moments that I felt, whether they were, you know, negative or positive. Just, just growing up. Because I mean, I'm only 19. And I started out when I was 18. I graduated a year ago. Yeah. Now I'm from the Indian desert. So it's just a lot of achievements. I'm just knocking out. I'm so excited for the future. Well, we thank you so very much for coming back and acknowledging El Paso. And we love you if you haven't felt that yet. And all your friends are here with you. It's such a such a memorable moment. And we hope that you do come back, even when you're like a bigger star than you already are. You know? Can you even comprehend that? Like, I know. It's even, like, it's so mind-boggling, it's right? It's crazy, but I'm, I'm definitely on the way. I'll always come back to El Paso. Do you think you'll retire here? Uh, I actually thought about buying a house here. Don't tell that, don't tell that. <laughs> don't they'll, they'll be stalking you. Don't look for me. Don't look for me. But yeah, I mean I just I just love just just the sun, just El Paso, just what it really is, just just how everyone treats each other like family is. It's, it's welcoming. They welcome me, they took me in the form. So I appreciate it. So one last thing, what kind of message would you like to leave? Not only El Paso with, but somebody who is aspiring to be, you know, where you are today. Persistence. Never listen to what anyone has to say about you negatively. Focus on all the positive energy. Feed off of it. And don't think that just because you're from a small town or an unpopular town that you can't make it. Because that one day that you quit, that next day could be the best one. I love that. Chloe, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And we're going to keep playing your tunes and just... Uh,
Be shining and we'll, 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 look, we'll look for you, okay? Thank you, Thank you baby. Thank you. Everything a group shot like Yeah, of like you guys. I got a wide angle lens and like everybody.